a system of agriculture there in the Yucatan, the milpa-based system, which revolves around maize, beans, and squash, actually made its way into this part of the world in southern Ontario. And so my ancestors uh, practiced essentially the same form of agriculture you know, prior to the arrival of Europeans here. My name is Miguel Siwi, and I'm an assistant professor of geography and environmental studies at Laurier. The Yucatec Maya practice what I like to call responsibility-based thinking, and that's evident in their land use practices, such as milpa agriculture, hunting, as well as apiculture and small-scale cattle ranching. And so the Yucatec Maya have put into practice this traditional land use system based on spiritual values and long-standing traditions in the Yucatan in a variety of land use activities that can be observable in the present day. There are not many studies done in Latin America and Latin American indigenous groups by Northern indigenous researchers such as myself. In my case, I was a Wandat scholar traveling to the Yucatan and building relationships and um, a research partnership with the Yucatec Maya and bringing my own traditional values and my own perspectives and knowledges into the research process. There is a common way of thinking about the land, a land-based philosophy or epistemology that I found in the Yucatan and that is directly related to what I've learned through my upbringing, through contact with elders in my community and other indigenous groups as well across Canada. And so I found many similarities in terms of Wandat and Maya land-based thinking. One of my interviews with one particular Maya elder, he said, I'm going to carry out my Maya duties and responsibility and my Maya work on the land. And one day I might even die on my field. So this really drove home that notion of responsibility and that despite changes, you know, despite climate change, despite, despite the major disturbances that were caused by colonialism and by the arrival of the Spanish there, they have a duty and a sense of responsibility to continue carrying out their traditions, regardless of any changes that come their way. And they've, they've experienced quite a number of drastic changes and upheaval over the last five centuries. I think that the most important attitude to bring into this kind of research with Indigenous research partners on the land is that researchers, whether they're Indigenous or non-Indigenous, have to accept their role as guests on the land and to bring into the research a spirit of humility and openness and respect as well for the land and its people.